What's going on, you guys, and welcome to the Two Brain Business YouTube channel. I'm Jeff Burlingame, a mentor for Two Brain Business, and today I want to talk to you guys about personal training certifications. Whether you're a current trainer, an up and coming trainer, or a gym owner, a certification is something that you should definitely be aware of and probably be something that you're going after. Today, we want to help you answer the question how important are personal training certifications? And if I were to get one, what one should I get? There seems to be many out there. So we're gonna talk about our top six personal training certifications that we've actually done the research on for you. There's also a article that I'll provide you guys in the description below that you can go and look at if you wanna see more details there. But we're gonna be talking about those main six as well as the initial costs of them, how to recertify them, all of that. And then we'll circle back to the most important criteria gym owners should be looking for when it comes to personal trainers. Or if you wanna be a solopreneur and you wanna go do this your own, have a PT studio, just train people out of your house, whatever that is, what you should be paying attention to, what you should be looking for, for client retention, what really matters. And I'll give you a little hint here, it's not the certification. So let me give you my background real quick. I've been in the fitness industry since 2008. I have worked for multiple organizations and I've worked at many different gyms. I've run dozens of personal training departments within Globo gyms, both small and large, and I've hired hundreds of personal trainers. So from that experience, I have gained a level of knowledge that helps me understand what to look for exactly in a personal trainer. And I can tell you after having spoken with them during an interview or some other meeting, whether or not they're gonna have good client retention. There's a few factors I really look for. Number one, I need somebody with personality and drive. If they are somebody that I can talk to, hold a good conversation with, and enjoy having had that conversation, that goes a long way to developing client relationships. If I have somebody with a drive, somebody who's goals driven and oriented, they can take a goal, they can attack it, they can get it done, then I know that they're gonna be able to grow their personal training practice. And then if I have a trainer who prioritizes the client experience over everything else, I know that they're gonna have amazing retention. So those are the factors that I actually look for. Now you'll notice I didn't say personal training certification and I do actually look for that, but here's the way it works. I really look for it just so that I know that this person is in the right industry, that they have the prerequisite to even be considered for being hired. That's really all it is to me. It's like, oh, check mark, got the prereq, now I can consider talking to them or bring them in for an interview. That is something that I believe is necessary as a foundational piece of their knowledge, but not something that is necessarily going to lead to them being better in this business or in this industry. There's many more factors that are at play here. So that's just one thing I'm really looking for. So let's think of it this way. The personal training certification is there to legitimize the personal trainer. They have laid the foundations, they have a base level of knowledge, and they are ready to absorb through experience. Now we can move on to the next step. I'll give you a little case in point here. I have hired trainers before that have in the double digits of personal training certifications, legitimately 10 or more, and they have made some of the worst trainer hires I've ever made in my life. They had like all of the knowledge and all of the credentials, but not really good experience, no great personality, they weren't goals driven, they thought they knew everything, they were very difficult to manage, and that came through with their client relationships too, so they had bad retention, and that is the biggest problem when it comes to PT. You gotta be able to retain those clients, otherwise all the credentials in the world will not save you. So let's go through our top six that we've researched and gone through here at Two Brain Business. So in order to qualify for these certifications, you're gonna to have to be 18 years of age or older, you're gonna to have to have a current government issue ID and hold a current CPR and AED certificate. You gotta be able to keep people alive if something goes wrong, it's very important. So those are kind of the prereqs that you're gonna look at. Now, five out of the six that we researched here at Two Brain Business did also require that you had a high school diploma. There's one that does not, I'll let you know which one here in a minute, but let's go for a deep dive into each one. I wanna let you know really kind of like what they stand for, how much they cost, uh, what you're really looking at, and what their recertification periods are, or how long that certification is valid for. So let's get into it. So first up, we got ACE. ACE is the American Council on Exercise. This is by far and large one of the biggest certifications that are out there. It is 
NCCA accredited. NCCA is the National Commission for Certifying Agencies, and it's one of the bigger accrediting bodies. It's not the only one. There are many others out there, and two others will be featured on our list. So we'll talk about them in a little bit. Basically, with the majority of these certifications, you just need to know if they are accredited, how much it costs to take the test, how long that test is valid for or the certification is valid for, what it takes to recertify and how much that will cost you, because these are all basically business expenses for you. You should be looking at it as a business. I need this certification in order to legitimately operate my business. How much can I expect to pay for it up front? and in the long run, and how often do I have to recertify this thing? Now, some of these organizations are going to offer you a little bit more in the way of how you can certify for the test, whether it's more or better study materials and guidance, or if there's a membership or some type of organization that they offer, which could lead to you acquiring more experience, better continued education to make you a better fitness professional and or job placement. So that's really, those are the key target areas we're looking here. And right off the bat, ACE offers the potential to help you land a job. They have a really cool career resources program. So that's something to me as a personal trainer that I have been in the past for a long time that would stand out to me. I would say career resources and placement is you know top of my list. I kinda want a job here. I wanna be able to be employed or employable. And this is something that could help you do that. They do also offer a pretty amazing find your trainer database. So they're putting you out there so that potential clients can find you. And they can help you get a discount on your liability insurance especially if you're going out on your own, that is something you're going to have to have. So that is kind of a cool thing that they do. Overall cost for ACE, they do have three different package options from $849 all the way up to $1,499. Uh, it's not the cheapest of the bunch by far, but it is pretty valuable for what you're actually getting for that cost. On the higher ends, they do offer things like digital study groups and guidance, which can help you pass your test if you're concerned with that. The cert is also valid for two years and the recertification cost is $129, which isn't too bad in the grand scheme of things. You're gonna see it at a couple different price points as we talk through this today. And if you check out the article, we actually have a nice little chart that shows you everything you need to know on there. So again, Click that link below in the description. So next up we have AFA, AFAA. This is the Athletics and Fitness Association of America. These guys offer personal training as well as a lot of group fitness instructor certifications. So if you're looking for something different, some different specialties, or you wanna train larger groups, this could be a good option for you. Although their group certifications are NCCA accredited, the PT certification is not, at least not yet. This is the one that you also don't have to have a high school diploma to qualify for. So that is not a prereq, although it is on every single other one. Total cost of this certification is $499. Does include a lot of video lectures. So there's a lot of online source material that's going to help you pass your exam, which is really what all of these are about, is pass the test, get the cert, go do your work. This one lasts for two years. That's how long it's valid for. It's $99 to recertify for another two years, or kind of a cool thing that this and a few other organizations offer, is you can pay $399 to recertify for life. Next up, we've got a big one in the clinical world of exercise science, the ACSM, or American College of Sports Medicine. These guys are, of course, NCCA accredited. They're one of the bigger bodies out there. They offer three health fitness certifications, as well as a clinical certification, and some specialty certifications. So there's a lot of options on the table. This is also an organization that offers a membership option and having that membership will get you discounts as well as qualify you for other opportunities and networking, which is great. That's something I would definitely look for if I'm becoming a personal trainer or starting my own business. Cost of this certification is 279 for members and 349 for non-members. This one's valid for three years, but does require 45 continued education credits and a $45 fee to recertify. The next one we're gonna talk about is the ISSA. This is the International Sports Science Association. These guys are NCCPT accredited, which is a National Council of Certified Personal Trainers. This one's on the upper end of cost. It is $133 a month for 12 months. But what you get for that cost is this. You get an ebook, which is your digital textbook, as well as exam prep materials. However, after completing your exam, passing your exam, you actually get your own customizable website. So they're helping you launch that business and you're getting support from them ongoing. 
This one's valid for two years. You do need 20 hours of continued ed credits in order to qualify for a recertification. The nice thing about that is if your credits come through ISSA sources, it's $0 to recertify. If they don't, however, and there's plenty of opportunities out there, then it's $99 to recertify. Then we have NASM. This is the National Academy of Sports Medicine. These guys are huge. They've been around for a while and they're also NCCA accredited. They offer a lot of different courses, including PT group, nutrition, injury prevention, and other specialty courses. They also have four package options you can choose to acquire your study materials and exam that range from $799 all the way up to $2,199. At the top end, that upper echelon, what you're getting though is actually like a 10 week course. So you get to work with an instructor that entire time and you also get the opportunity to retest if you happen to fail the test on your first attempt. This one's valid for two years and they offer $99 per recertification every two years or $399 for life. So $399 bucks and you don't have to recertify again. It's a pretty darn good deal. Finally, we have the NSCA. This is the National Strength and Conditioning Association. The NSCA offers three different certification options and are accredited by a different accreditation source, which I'm going to read to you because it's super long. So it's the CASCE accredited. It's the Council of Accreditation of Strength and Conditioning Education. Yes, there are many different accrediting bodies out there. That's one of them. They do have a membership option, which is great. It means they're gonna have more support for you and more opportunities for you as well. For members, the cost of this is $300 and for non-members, it's 435. This is just for the exam though. If you want the extra study materials, you are paying a little bit of an additional fee. Uh, they have a few options for that as well, which is going to provide you less or more study material and support. On the low end, you're looking at $150, and on the high end, you're looking at $455. This one is valid for three years and just requires continued education in order to qualify for that recertification. So there you have it. Those are our top six that we've researched. There are many more out there. These are the ones that we just feel hold the most weight in the industry. And then we even polled our own two brain clients to see what they thought about these different certifications. And here's what we came up with. 89% of them said that they prefer to see NSCA on a resume. And 11% of them said they would prefer to see NASM. So we got NSCA, NASM, those are the only two that popped up on our poll. We provided all six of these certifying bodies as options and our clients chose specifically just those two, mostly NSCA. So that would be something I would take into consideration. These are successful gym owners. So that's kind of what they're looking at. So in closing, let's answer that question. How important is a personal training certification? It is crucial, but as a prerequisite. This is the foundation. Basically, if you get your certification, you are now ready to go out into the world to learn, to gain experience, to get other certifications, to educate yourself in different ways, to gain clients and to earn their trust and to help them achieve their goals. Because at the end of the day, what you should be looking for as a trainer and what gym owners are looking for from you as a trainer is that you can help a client get from point A to point B. You can make them happy, you can help them achieve their goals, and you can retain them. This is really what we should be looking for. This certification is the stepping stone to that. And that's where you need to be going. If you wanna be successful as a personal trainer, get your cert, but understand that this is not the end. This is the beginning, and you still have a lot of work, a lot of experience, a lot of knowledge to gain. And most importantly, you gotta gain your client's trust. So at the end of the day, what we're looking for is that certification on your resume as a prerequisite. Now we can start the conversation. Other than that, we're really looking for personality, passion, and drive. If you possess those characteristics, you're gonna be a much better candidate for that position than other individuals that we may speak to. So keep that in mind. Hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. And again, if you want more information, the complete resources will be in the description below. So click the link, go to the original article. You can see the chart there. You can see all the costs there. It's all laid out for you. But hopefully this was helpful and hopefully it guides you in the right direction. If it was, consider subscribing to the Two Brain Business channel. We're here to help you create a profitable business. And starting with something like a certification can be a stepping stone in the right direction. So get after it and let us know if there's anything else that we can help you with. You can always comment below and we'll get right back to you. Thanks for watching you guys. Have a great one and we'll see you on the next video.